Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ Soul Force. My most recent video on the X380 was titled, Gotta Love This Quadcopter. What you didn't see in that video <laughs> is right after that flight, the X380, when I landed it, it came down with a solid yellow flight indicator. There was nothing on the, uh, <laughs> on the color chart to tell you what a solid yellow light meant. I thought I had uh, lost GPS after landing and restarting the X380 then it went to a, a, a rapid flashing red and at this time I don't know what's going on with the quadcopter. I posted my problem on the X380 the owners club. <laughs> I'll put the name on the screen. I posted my problem on the uh, on Facebook and a guy named Pete suggested that I flash the memory and put new files in my X380 and that fixed my problem so I'm gonna share with you guys what I did to fix my X380 when it had a what seemed like a minor software issue first the flight indicator was solid yellow I put a fresh battery in I did a restart and then it went to rapid red and then the, the uh, the quadcopter locked up and it wouldn't connect to the computer anymore. So what I'm going to do is show you what I did to fix my X380. And the new software that Pete shared with me also has the new firmware with the FAP mode and the automatic panoramic mode. Also the new safety feature that's supposed to bring the X380 back to its home point or its takeoff point and land itself after you get a critical low battery warning. Okay guys, I can't guarantee that this is gonna fix your X380, but this is what I did to fix my X380. Plug your micro USB cord to the X380. Have your X380 in place and close to the computer so that once you start this procedure you uh, won't have to move it anymore after that. The reason I say that is because this USB connection here is pretty shaky. I have the USB connected to the quad and I have the cable running under the foot of the quadcopter and also running under the computer. When I move this end, this end won't move. Next, uh, I have a battery in the X380, but it's not plugged in. Uh, plug the USB cable into your computer without the power on to your X380. After that's connected, plug your battery in. Your computer should connect automatically to the X380's internal memory or internal drive. My computer recognized this as an external drive and it automatically opened it. The X380 is identified as a external drive. It's drive F. Inside that drive is five folders. A calibration folder, a record folder, a systems folder, an update folder, Next, you want to make copies of those five files and save them in a, in a separate location. These are going to be your backup files in case something goes wrong here. Meanwhile, when we connected the X380, uh, the flight indicator went solid red. And the quadcopter is beeping. And the lights are flashing. We are now connected to the, to the X380. If your uh, computer didn't open the X380's drive as an external drive, then read at the end of this video. I'll post some more options on how to make this work. But for now, after you have saved those five files to a safe location, what you're going to do is erase those five files. After you have formatted that drive, then you're going to uh, go to the link that I gave you. After you click on that link, you're going to see a folder called X380 Master Backup Firmware. That is a zip folder. 
when you unzip that folder you're gonna find five more folders inside of it they're the same as the files that you just erased a calibration folder a record folder or a record folder a systems folder an update folder and a configuration folder copy them make a copy of those files paste those five files to the x380 after you have pasted those five files into the x380's drive you simply unplug the USB port with the battery still in the computer just gave a confirmation that it disconnected x380 is saving those files to its memory and it has now gone back to normal the flight indicator is solid red and that's normal because your transmitter is not on the beeping stop the light stop flashing uh, right now if I turn the transmitter on x380 is back in normal flight mode which for me I have satellites acquired and I got the green green flashing right now it's a good idea to unplug your x380 and restart it in a normal mode normal is to turn the transmitter on first plug in your battery and wait for the 380 to initialize and it's gone back to normal flight mode I have green green if I press uh, <laughs> automatic takeoff X380's back to normal flight mode and basically guys that's it if it didn't work that easy for you please read the uh, script I'm gonna put at the end of the video to explain uh, maybe you need additional drivers uh, I'm, I'm using a laptop running Windows 10 and I didn't have to download any special drivers when I connected my X380 to my laptop following those procedures it opened automatically and I saw the five files and and if you did the update the way I just did it you're now gonna have the FAP mode and the automatic panoramic mode also that new firmware uh, programs the X380 to return home and land itself when you reach critical low battery warning <laughs> that's what it's supposed to do I'm not gonna be the first guy to make that test to see if it works or not anyway guys I'm gonna uh, Put the links in the description of the video so make sure you read all of that above the video again this is for Windows users if you're using a Mac somebody else got to help you with that one I'm sorry I use Windows and uh, I, I'm not familiar with the Apple or the Mac operating systems so once again guys this is DJ Soul Force thanks for watching and I hope I can help you Fix, reset, and load the new firmware into your X380. That was a really nice flight. Really nice flight.